Hey guys, Alex Ritza here, The Cycling Doc, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about inner knee pain on the bike, and this is a do-it-yourself video. This video was meant for you if you've got some inner knee pain, or if you wanna prevent that inner knee pain, and it's to the point where you haven't had to go for a bike fit, or you haven't had to go see a manual therapist yet, this video is meant to give you some tips tricks, tools, exercises, so that it doesn't progress, get worse, and keep you off the bike. Let's get into it. So if you're just seeing this video without seeing the other one that I'll link below where I talk about how to manage a cycling injury, you should probably go check that out. What the video basically says is that if your knee pain is to the point where it's just a symptom, just your body's way of telling you that there's too much strain on the knee or on the inside of the knee and it hasn't become a full-blown problem yet, it's not say an injury, then this video might help to make sure that it doesn't progress to something where you need to take a substantial period off the bike, where there's something that's injured that needs to rest and to heal and that you need to see a manual therapist. So there's a few things, tips and tricks that you guys can do if you are looking for some help with some inner knee pain. So number one, let's roll through what I would do in terms of some stretching and some rehab. So we wanna take some tension off of the muscles and the tissues that go towards the knee. So we definitely wanna make sure that we are stretching the quads. With stretching the quads, we can do either a simple knee to buttock stretch, or we can get a little more complicated and also go through a chair stretch. Both are good options, both are something that I would do, especially if you notice that when you do this stretch or any of the other ones I'm gonna mention, it hits the spot or makes the spot feel better. The other thing that we wanna do is take some tension off the tissues that go to the side, right on the side of the leg, so that's the groin muscles, the adductor muscles. So that's where, in this stretch, I'm gonna show you, you wanna stretch out the groin or stretch out the adductors, and you want to make sure that you feel a nice pull along the inside of the thigh, and that when you're searching along, for any uh, excessive tension, that you're scouring all those muscles with some of those different stretches. So you definitely wanna make sure you've stretched the quads, move on to the groin, and stretch some of the adductor or the thigh muscles on the inside of the leg. And then last but not least, you also wanna make sure that you stretch the hamstrings, and specifically the inner hamstrings. So not the big biceps femoris on the outside, but more of the semi-mem and semi-tendinosis. And for this, there's a number of different ways you can do uh, some hamstring stretches. I would recommend doing dynamically, so with some movement. You can do a modified ground sweep. You could do a uh, leg up on a table and uh, do a ground sweep-like stretch, but I think the ground sweep is probably the best. And for the most part, it's gonna be pretty easy for everybody and most importantly, safe. If it bugs your back, stop, pick something else. And then I would also do some leg swings. The leg swings are a little bit more complicated, a little bit more advanced, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are keeping your spine nice and stable and contracting the core. I'll make sure that all of those videos and uh, exercises are linked as well. So we're not gonna be looking to build any significant strength in the short term in this video, because this video is about giving you some relief so that we can keep you on the bike and stop a minor problem from becoming a big one. So we definitely wanna do some activation exercises though, and activation is all about making sure the connection between brain and body, that brain-body connection, the signal from the brain is reaching down to the muscle. So whether we're talking about doing a, uh, a standing fire hydrant, a uh, monster walk to the side, a clamshell, we wanna make sure that we're ta talking to the gluteus minimus and medius, make sure those muscles are turning on, and also probably doing some squats, loading up the glutes, uh, specifically the gluteus, gluteus maximus, and make sure that those muscles are turning on. If you're doing any of these exercises, you don't feel like you're doing them right, you feel like those muscles aren't turning on, this is again, maybe reflective that there's an underlying problem that you might need to get checked out if you can't even turn those muscles on in the first place. And those are the primary things that I would do in terms of stretches and strength. I would also make sure that I'm foam rolling the hamstrings, 
foam rolling uh, the calf and making sure definitely on the inside of the calf towards the medial or the inner part of the gastrox, that, that big calf muscle, foam rolling the groin and foam rolling the inside of the quads. Now, when I had my inner knee pain, I didn't do a lot of foam rolling. I used my, my uh, Cairo Bolt, my, my massage gun, uh, and I used that a lot on the inside, and I found it really, really, really effective because I was able to relax. I wasn't fighting the foam roller, and it allowed me to really relax those muscles and scour with the massage gun any really intense points of discomfort. You could also just go for a massage and tell your massage therapist to dig around uh, in the area around the knee for a good half an hour, an hour, and that if the problem is not too significant, requiring extra attention, this should be effective. Now, in terms of fit, it's almost impossible for me to make any uh, obvious recommendations like without looking at your bike fit um, and knowing whether there is an underlying injury. Again, this is a quick fix video. For me, what I did was I, I slammed that cleat uh, to, to the inside of the shoe, which brought my foot a little more medial or a little bit more towards the bike, and that should take some tension off of the knee. So I probably shouldn't use the word slam. I'd say nudge it a little bit in, and then if it feels a little bit better, maybe you nudge it a little more in, especially on the trainer when you can get some consistent feedback that more optimal placement should help take some stress off the knee. So guys, I hope that was helpful. If you can take a little bit of time off a day or two, do some stretching, do some activation exercises, do some massaging, maybe get the massage gun or better yet a massage therapist hands on there, and you maybe make a little tweak to the cleats, that should help immensely with that inner knee pain. And if not, if it doesn't go away, time to go see a good manual therapist and get it properly diagnosed to figure out what the core problem is. Take care guys and gals, ride on and I'll see you soon.